Good afternoon, Code Simplifier Tribes. Behzad is here from Code Simplifier Coding School. Welcome back to another C# video for beginners. In our next couple of videos, we will work on user interface section of our application, and today we will learn about the stack panels. Open up your Visual Studio, then create a new project, the bottom one. In top bar, make sure your language selected is C#. The platform you are working on is going to be Windows and the platform or the console is going to be UWP. Once you filter out, it gives you the few options and we are going to choose the blank app. Then click next. Here we name our project as online form, online order version 01. Location is going to be the folder we created from our last video on our desktop. Just browse in, go to your desktop, select the folder and create. Click OK. After your project has been created, we need to access to our Solution Explorer to access to our XAML and C code. So in your tab bar here, go to View, select your Solution Explorer. Here we select Main Page, the format as XAML, double click. And this is the screen you should see. Make sure this screen scale is on 13.3 inches on 100% scale. The selection is on debug. It's x86. And you are selecting your local machine to run the application. Then run the app and wait for the application to be built. Our app is running with no issues. There is no user interface yet. Therefore, we are seeing a blank screen and we will add some content to it in a few seconds. We go back to our Visual Studio environment to create some user elements. I have a habit of writing a comment at the start and the end of my code. And to be frank, it helped me a lot to write a clean and maintainable code. This trick helps you to have a clean code as I mentioned. Your code will be stacked up in a groups and whenever you want to resolve an issue, it will be easy to find what you are looking for. You will get my point along the way, and you can see how this approach can help you in the long run. Above your grid, right then hold on shift, greater sign, exclamation mark, and CH gives you an auto suggestion. Select as a comment, we just write down main grid. Save. Control C and we close it below our second grade. Here between the two grade tags, we are going to create a stack panel. Again, same process. And here we just write down a stack panel. The auto suggestion helps you. Click enter, shift lower sign, and it will close down. It gives you a stack panel. Here in the stack panel, we are going to inside tag. I'll show you one more time. Inside tag, we are using to have a background. Just check blue for now and save our work. We are going to see how that affected on our work. As you can see, we get a background to our main stack panel. To make our work easier, I will change the background to light gray, so that would be same as our design. So go back to your C# again. Instead of blue, we want to just check as light gray. Save your work. Here we see our background changed. Then we go back to our design photo to see what we have created so far. Here is our final design. So I'll draw it. This is our main stack panel which we created so far. And the background has a light gray. So far we created our main stack panel that covers a whole screen. So it's good to go back to our Visual Studio and comment that out. So above your stack panel, we want to write down a comment. What is the stack panel and what it does? So it is a main stack panel. And what it does, it covers the whole screen. Copy the code. Below your end tag, we want to paste the same comment again. Go back to your design and I want to see how many stack panels you see in this photo. 
So here is one stack panel, second stack panel, third st stack panel, and the fourth stack panel. So inside our main stack panel, which covers the whole screen, we have another four stack panels. Go back. Inside the start tag, we want to write that as orientation, as horizontal. The main reason is stack panels by default orientation is vertical. In this case, because our stack panels are going to sit next to each other, therefore we are going to set our orientation as horizontal. As you could see, the stack panel is like a container which it used to store some items inside it, which in our case, our items are the user interfaces elements. Here is the example. Think of a stack panel as your fridge. Inside your fridge, you have some shelves which are stacked vertically and on each shelves, you store some items. That is exactly what we are doing. We are building a fridge to store some elements on them. And I am going to stop the video here because I don't want to create too many stack panels at once and confuse you. But before we go, I have a challenge for you. Go ahead and create a few projects with some stack panels with different colors. I would like to hear from you and how you went. That was the end of today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for your time and I will see you all next time.